I figured this was going to be in the, the more towards the new content or new content. I don't know, that this was going to be a longer than usual, so I decided to make another video out of it. Enjoy the video. This will be the last one. Wow, oh, these they really do love their loading screens in this game though. Go on that. Thank you, Your Holiness. Now Artigan, as to your concerns. The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized Care Bronach in Crestwood. Our goal was to keep more Ferelden citizens from dying, not to seize power. Your help was appreciated two years ago, Inquisitor. Now order has been restored, yet you remain. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. Now the Inquisition is doing the same thing with Grey Wardens in their ranks. Your concern is ill-founded. The Grey Wardens have proven their worth time and again. Of course, Orle tolerates this interference. The Inquisition is the only reason Selene still has the throne. Rest assured, Tegan, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well-intentioned mistakes of a young organization. An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Sister Leliana asked to speak with you in private. My apologies. An urgent matter has come to my attention. Ambassador Montelier, can you handle this for a short while? I... Of course, Inquisitor. This is highly irregular. Are we not even worth the Inquisitor's time? Inquisitor, I thought you would want to see this. A canary warrior in full armor. How did he get into the Winter Palace? Would the Iron Bull know anything about this? I asked, and he is as surprised as we are. Since becoming Tavashov, he has had no contact with his people. He seems frustrated at not knowing more. So, what would the left hand of the Divine see when she looked at this? This is a warrior, not a spy. Part of the Antam, the Canari military. Most of his wounds come from a fight against someone using magic, but at least a few are from a blade. He was badly hurt, separated from his allies, and made it here before he died. But how? We need to find out what's going on. Can Josephine manage the diplomats while I look around? She will be fine. It's all speeches and posturing for the first few days anyway. I will ask Divine Victoria to call a recess for now. I will also have our friends ready themselves for battle if need be. You think that's likely? 
I think the Exalted Council may be more exciting than we expected. to tell everyone about this. Those Ferelde. Hello. Judging by the bloodstains he tried to get through here. Is something wrong? 
This mirror doesn't look broken, but it's inactive. Maybe there's a way to unlock it. Elven ruins. I'm not sure we're even in Orle anymore. Another Kunari, dressed like the one in the Winter Palace. He's part of their military, dressed for war. This is the work of a mage. A powerful one. I can still feel the heat crackling. We need to find out what... Kunari were here and who did this to them.
Atisha Falem, Fenharam Alathadra. The elves bound a spirit here. It feels old. Very old. What does it want? Nuvenas Menahelani. Tears Belasama. I'll try Elven. Andaran Atishan Sadaran. Vietama. Nadinan Salim. Spirits considered us intruders. To be fair, we are. It must have been set to guard something. <laughs> Seems like the Kunari weren't just passing through. These Kunari. A letter by the Kunari. Why are they translating it into our language? That was like Veilfire. It claimed this was a refuge for elven slaves. You mean the ancient elves kept slaves? Maker's breath. One more thing never to tell Daisy. This whole valley was a sanctuary created by the dreadwolf Fenharel. This doesn't make sense. In Dalish legends, Fenharel is our god of misfortune. That Alluvian only took us a short distance.
That's the same lake we saw from the other tower. So the old elves had many uses for these devices. Wounds on the back, no blood on his sword. Someone took him by surprise. This can't have happened too long ago. The blood's not even dry. Here we go again. What a change of pace from the Winter Palace. A clear sky, a beautiful view, and yes, fields and fields of stripweed as far as the eye can see. Strip what? Terrible stuff. Looks like grass, stings like a knife, and causes sores if you so much as brush against it. So, of course, everyone in Manrathus insists it makes a very decent tea. Ben Harel helping former slaves as a mortal, not a god. He took great pains to renounce his supposed divinity. Ordinary guy saves people, accidentally founds religion. Sounds a lot like the chant, actually. Ben Harel sounds like quite the rebel. The old elven gods must have simply loved that. the elven gods were just ever near us, powerful, but completely mortal mages. Was this the start of an uprising? Freed elven slaves against their former masters? If that's true, Ben Harel was teaching these freed slaves the truth about these false gods. Ah! Are you hurt? like the anchor stung me. This looks like it fits into that pedestal by the broken bridge.
So, we're getting the band back together. That's exciting. We are not a band of any sort. Just because you can't carry a tune, Seeker, doesn't mean you're not front and center in our band of misfits. Sorry. Watch it on. The Inquisition doesn't leave alive.
claim the entire Kunari nation wants us dead. Well, at last the Inquisition and Tavinza have something in common. That's Ben Harel, removing Dalish Valisleen. Solas said they were used to mark slaves. Hidden weapons. These freed slaves actually fought back against the Evanuris posing as gods. Interesting word, Evanuris. If all it means is mage leader, well, they were basically magisters. I cannot even tell you how good it is to be in armor again instead of fancy vestments. You mean you didn't just wear armor under your robes? I'm shocked. I tried. It was much too hot. A note about an unknown intruder coming through an alluvian. They turned spirits against us, then fled. It must be a mage. They killed any Kunari in the way and let the spirits do the rest. Two parties, then. The Kunari, and a mystery agent determined to stop them. Come on, we have to warn people about the Kunari's designs on the Winter Palace.
One dead canary was bad enough. Now we have more, and they're hostile. This makes no sense. The canary may not be friendly to the Inquisition, but they have no reason to attack us. They also have no reason to be here, or using Illuvians at all. I've had the mirror placed under guard for now. I just wanted the Exalted Council to go smoothly. We must ensure that the Kunari do not disrupt the negotiations. The Exalted Council is in a very delicate state. I'm certain you can soothe the nobles' ruffled feathers while we solve the real problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone present by walking out in the middle of the talks. Our only advantage is that Orlais and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. I know we're asking a lot of you, Ambassador. I promise we won't make this any harder for you than necessary. My apologies. I will attend to the Exalted Council. And while Josie does that, we will investigate. I'll head back to the crossroads. We need to find out what the Kunari are doing and why they attacked. And I'll have a quiet word with our honor guard. All's well, it seems. Mm. We shall see. going all right so far so Bran used to be Viscount and now he just follows you around provisional Viscount pretty much with a permanent appointee finally in the Viscount's office I am free to return to my post as Seneschal he means my true calling is arrogantly telling people they can't talk to the Viscount he's good at it too I'm surprised no one from the Council of Heralds wants your autograph. You just missed them. Duke Cyril keeps asking me for spoilers for my next book. Any word from Hawk? I got a message from, well, best not to name an entire chain of smuggling syndicates and polite company. Anyway, Weishaupt is apparently the special kind of mess that only appears when Hawk shows up. I'm not entirely sure how it'll all play out, but my money's on Hawk walking away from the Warden's Fortress as it explodes. I don't understand how you just become a Viscount. When the ruler of a marcher state dies and there's no heir, the nobles of the city pick a new ruler. Only none of Kirkwall's nobles actually want the throne. Most of them think it's cursed, actually. They can't leave it empty, though, or some other state like Starkhaven or Ansberg will probably invade. I complained about the empty office when it interfered with my reconstruction efforts. They took that as volunteering. I hadn't burned all my contacts with the Ben Hasrat. Be nice to have some idea what they're doing right now. Yeah, but then you'd be on their side, Chief. Yes, but I'd know things. I like knowing things. I'll talk to you later. Hello, and shh. I'm trying to figure out why everyone is acting so weird. I mean, besides because Canary assassins and everything. You see it, right? There's something going with the elf servants. Makes sense after that ruin, right? When you start going on about elves, it's hard to tell if it's about them or you. Yes, yes, you're ever so clever, arse. Point is, the servants have no complaints. No asking for a Jenny. They serve this lot, but don't want them done for anything. So, the nobles are nice? 
and the servants are happy. Two things that have never been true. Mark that I said it. We're fighting Canari, but something else is on the up. I suppose you've a lot to say about that elven ruin. About the creators. They're not even demons. Just big magey knobs punching down. And yes, the shits who use them to make me feel broken can still eat it. But always waiting for that fight is way too much work. It's like doing half the hurt for them. Maybe we're old now, but I'm tired of it. We've new fights to look forward to. We always do, seems like. It's been a couple of years. How's everything sitting with you? It's weird meeting back up and seeing everyone get their grey. First time I've been anywhere long enough to get fond of things. Cassandra is staying herself. So far. Hopefully. She needs someone to watch out for her. So I kind of do. All that blood and thunder just so everyone can live well an hour once around. Good lesson, I suppose. If there had to be one. It is good to see you, my friend. I hear you've been rebuilding the Seekers. Slowly, but yes. I managed to find a few of my former comrades who'd scattered to the winds. Some of them were unsuitable, and I did not ask them to return. Others felt as I did once they read the Lord Seeker's tome. We've since recruited a few candidates who are going through training now, with full disclosure. What comes after this? I cannot be certain. I'm making it up as I go along. I'm sure you'll be fine, Cassandra. It's much to handle on top of my duties as divine. We shall see. So, you've been quite busy? Ugh. <laughs> that bad. Being divine is like trying to herd a field of cats into a lake for a much-needed bath. Even so, I would be pleased with my progress were it not for all the attendants picking over me constantly. And the hat! Needless to say, I'm more than happy for this diversion. What do you think of the Exalted Council? They are frightened of your power, and there is no longer a hole in the sky to remind them that it was needed. They might be right. Do not say that near them unless you want to give them the scent of blood. Even so, I would wait and see where this leads. Calmer heads may yet prevail. When has that ever been the case? I'm an optimist. Just ask Varric. I'll see...
understand. Are you the Inquisitor? Odd to find a human down in the deep roads at all, let alone one surrounded by Kunari. We don't have much time. Please, what the Vidasala is doing, you have to stop her. The Vidasala? She's the leader of the Kunari here. She hates magic. Her job was to study it and stop it at all costs. Not anymore. I don't care whether you serve Fenharel or not. Someone has to stop her. Why do the Kunari think that the Inquisition serves Fenharel? I don't know. The Vidasala said it and well... You're Davis. It made as much sense as anything. We've had agents of Fenharel causing trouble all over the crossroads. Sabotage, making spirits attack us. I assume the Inquisition was their army. That you came here because Fenharel told you to. Who are you exactly? My name is Jeren. Sir Jeren, once. I was a Templar in Kirkwall. Until I joined the Kune. You're Kunari? Kirkwall was... Madness. Chaos. The Kunari were like the eye of a storm. I stand for order and discipline. Protecting the innocent from magic. But this plan... It's as mad as Meredith ever was. What is it that you want me to stop? This place is a Lyrium mining and processing center. The Canari need it for... Have you ever heard of Sarabas? It's a mage. Except Canari mages are much more dangerous than those among humans or elves. Even as a Templar, I'd never seen anything like the power Sarabas can unleash. And now Vidasala is giving them Lyrium. A lot of Lyrium. It's part of something she calls Dragon's Breath. There's more to it than that, but I couldn't find out what. The Canari don't like it when you ask too many questions. What are you doing down here? The Canari wanted me to teach them everything I knew about Lyrium. Where it comes from, everything it can do, how we put it to use. I knew enough from my time in the Order. They figured out more. I'm not sure how. Maybe they got to the Carter. The Kunari can't be mining their own Lyrium. It kills anyone who tries, other than dwarves. It killed the Kunari at first. But Kunari workers have a discipline only Tranquil can match. And they're quick learners. They figured it out. Where are we? Why are there elven mirrors in the deep roads? This place is close to... something like a Lyrium spring. The more we mine, the more there seems to be. As for the mirrors, I don't know. Maybe the elves were mining here too. That's not seriously the name of the plan, is it? Dragon's Breath. You know that most Dragon's Breath destroys everything in its path, right? She said it would save the South. That can mean only one thing. An invasion. This mine is the only source of Lyrium the Canari have. They're using Gatlock, the explosive powder in the round casks, to mine so they don't have to touch raw lyrium. If you get the primers from central supply, you can prime the Gatlock and detonate it. The mines will go up in flames. All right, I'll try to stop them here. I doubt my blessing counts for much now, but make a watch over you. Deep stalkers and cavins will cut off reinforcements, but they'll still come when they hear trouble. You've got to find the Vidasala to end this war before it begins. There's no telling how bad things will get when I destroy the mine. You'd better get moving. I will. Good luck, Inquisitor. Let's go. We have a Lyrium mine to ruin.
it so dark? Don't dwarven runes usually glow with lyrium or lava or whatever's running through the walls? The Kunare always enjoy their metaphors. But what does it mean? Who knows? Kunari agents moving through Illuvians to attack the South is bad enough already. I still do not understand why they accuse the Inquisition of serving Fenerel. It doesn't matter why the Kunari think we're tied to Fen Harel. All that matters is stopping them. Let's see the Exalted Council try to disband the Inquisition after we've saved them from this Dragon's Breath. We must find out what Dragon's Breath is first. For now, our only lead is the Kunari leader, the Vidisala. Gentlemen! My apologies, Lady Josephine. There has been an incident with one of your soldiers. How? dare you? It was bad enough that the Inquisition chose not to inform the Exalted Council of the Kunari Corpse. Orle would have been happy to help with the matter. But now your own guards are attacking servants? You have overstepped your bounds. My plan to seize power in Ferelden would hardly start with soldiers scuffling in Orle, Altegan. While the Exalted Council is our foremost priority, the Inquisitor will, of course, address this matter personally. Thank you, Inquisitor. Orle stands ready to assist the Inquisition, as always. Secrets and lies. Do you understand why we fear your Inquisition? You act as if you're the solution to every problem. How long before you drag us into another war? What's going on here? The Orlesians tried to take one of our people, Inquisitor. We've secured the area. This is the Winter Palace. You cannot simply seize control when one of your guards attacks a servant. The Inquisition is handling this. When some noble commits a crime of fashion, you can take over. I only asked what he was doing. And when I refused to bow to the Inquisition dogs, you attacked me. How would you like us to handle the situation, Inquisitor? That barrel there, where did it come from? I was ordered to bring wine for the guests. You're lying. Your Inquisition soldiers are completely out of control. No, we're in control. Keep talking and you'll find yourself in chains. I apologize for my guard's actions. My people will take her into custody with your permission. As you say, Inquisitor, Lord Cyril will hear about this. Inquisitor, I also found this by the barrel. I can't read the language.
Did you resolve the problem with the guard? The guard is the least of our problems. Someone smuggled Gatlock barrels into the Winter Palace. Smile, Inquisitor. There are many eyes upon us. At least now we know the true extent of the dragon's breath. You think the dragon's breath is these Gatlock barrels? Of course. A surprise attack, even through the Illuvians, would have met fierce resistance. But if everyone at the Exalted Council died in an explosion, the South would be rudderless, vulnerable to attack. This is what Corypheus should have done after the explosion at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. An attack as swift and unstoppable as the breath of a dragon. How are you still smiling? Years of training as a bard, Inquisitor. We cannot show weakness now. Enemies could be watching, or we can let them see his idle conversation between two friends. The guard who confronted the servant said she found this note near one of the barrels. It looks like Kunari writing. Let me see. I picked some up from the Iron Bull, though I'm told my accent is atrocious. These are orders for positioning the Gatlock in the palace. When duty has been performed, report to the Vidasala through the mirror marked by a bookcase. If we're going to find the Vidasala and stop this dragon's breath, this is our chance. Good. While you do that, I will have agents locate the Gatlock barrels and remove them safely. I will also send word to my foreign contacts. We must see where else this dragon could strike. All right, so I found out this is probably gonna be like at least another, roughly, give or take another hour. So I'm gonna cut this video short. So it was not like a two-hour video. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side later.